Hey y'all, welcome to Friday's Kitchen. Welcome back if you have been here before. In today's video, we are making these super cute, super moist strawberry cupcakes. We'll be using a box cake mix for the cupcakes, but we will be incorporating some homemade elements as well. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made them, stay tuned. Also, while you're here, I ask that you please look down below, press that red subscribe button, join our family, and come back for some more recipes. All right, guys, so our cupcakes will have a strawberry filling. I'm actually gonna use the recipe for my strawberry glaze. I'm just gonna alter the recipe a bit to make it thicker. So in this pot, I have one half cup of fresh pureed strawberries, one half cup of granulated sugar, one half cup of water, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So once I have everything in the pot, I let it cook on a medium heat and I constantly stir to make sure I don't have any sticking on the bottom of the pan. Here you can see the mixture is really red. I did add a couple drops of red food coloring because I wanted to have a nice contrast when the cupcake is bitten into. Also, once I removed it from the heat, I added one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So once the glaze was done, I let it come to room temperature. Then I placed it in a mason jar and put it inside the refrigerator. So we are going to start by following the instructions on the box. The only difference is I will be adding vanilla extract. Since this is a box cake, I'm just going to mix by hand. So to this, per the instructions on the box, we'll need one half cup of vegetable oil. One cup of water and three eggs and now i'm going to add about a tablespoon of vanilla extract so let's mix kind of break the yolks up a bit i am only going to make a dozen cupcakes with this according to the box it can make 24 cupcakes, but I will be using some of the cake batter for another recipe, which you'll see after this. All right, y'all, so just like that, our cake batter is done. So let me get my cupcake pan and some liners, and we'll be right back. So here we have our pan, and these are the liners I'm going to use. Y'all know I like to use my ice cream scoop when I make cupcakes. When you use box cakes, they kind of rise a lot, so I'm not going to fill my ice cream scoop to the very top. Hopefully you can see how much space I'm leaving on the top. So we're gonna place these in a 350 degree oven. I'll check on them about the 15 minute mark, but I'll let you guys know how long it takes in my oven. So this is after 15 minutes in the oven. I'm gonna let them hang out in the pan for about five minutes and then I take them out and put them directly on the cooling rack. Here we have the two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, stick of butter and vanilla extract in the mixer. I'm gonna turn the mixer on and blend until well combined. Now I'm gonna add the 32 ounce bag of powdered sugar. I want this to be pink, so I'm adding just a drop of red color. A little at a time. This may be enough. I just want it to be a pale pink color, so we'll see what it turns out to be. Okay, I'm gonna do one more drop. All right, so this is the color I want. So our icing is all done. So here I have some fondant, not much, just a little pink, a little white. I'm going to roll these out and use this small heart-shaped cookie cutter 
and I'll be using that as a couple of the toppers for the cupcakes. Place the hearts on top of parchment paper so I don't get disco dust everywhere, which is what I'll be using. So I'm going to dampen the top of each of the hearts. And for the pink hearts, I'm going to sprinkle this pretty pink disco dust. And for our white hearts, I will be using this white or pearl disco dust. So let me go ahead get some water. I'll try to not be too wasteful when I sprinkle the disco desk on top of each. We're gonna start here with this. Now we're gonna do the pink. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I feel like you can't, but it's really shimmery. You'll definitely be able to see the pink though. So I'm just going to leave these out and let them harden a bit and then again we'll be using these as some of the toppers for the cupcakes. Here we have the strawberry filling that we made earlier. You see it's nice and thick now so we're going to use that to fill the cupcakes. So now I have a spoon and I'm going to go in and just scoop out some of the center of each of the cupcakes. Now I'm going to take a spoonful of the strawberry filling and I'm going to drop it into the center of each of the cupcakes. Here we have the cream cheese icing that we made earlier in the video. So I'm just going to go through and pipe some of the icing on top of each of the cupcakes. Now that the cupcakes have been iced, we're going to move on to decorating. So I'm going to start by placing the pink hearts on top of three of the cupcakes. Now we're moving on to placing the white hearts on top of three of the cupcakes. Here we have some gold sprinkles. So I'm going to take some of those and sprinkle them on top of the cupcakes that have the pink hearts. I'm going to try to be careful so they don't bounce off of those cupcakes onto one of the others. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen. Now I'm going to take these red, pink, and white sprinkles and sprinkle those on top of the cupcakes that have the white hearts. I'm going to use these sprinkles to cover three more cupcakes. And these are the sprinkles I'll use on the last three cupcakes. I also decided to go in and sprinkle a little of the pink and white disco dust on some of the cupcakes that don't have the hearts, just to give them a little extra pizzazz. So give me just a minute to clean up my mess and I'll bring you guys in for a closer shot. 
We have made it to the end of our video. Here we have the finished product, our strawberry cupcakes with a strawberry filling. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about anything I've done, leave them down below in the comment section. I will reply. Also, while you're here, don't forget to look down below. Press that red subscribe button. Join our family. Come back for some more recipes. Don't forget about the Valentine's Day 2023 playlist on my channel. Be sure to check it out. I thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one.